In this episode of In the Galley, I'm going to be talking about galley essentials. These are items that have made cooking in a galley easier and more practical for me. Hopefully, they'll help you too. Cooking on a moving platform with limited space can be challenging, so the first thing you need to have in your galley, your galley essential, is a good attitude. You have to laugh about it when things go wrong, you have to be innovative, and most likely you have to remember that mermaids have more fun, so channel your inner mermaid. Okay, all kidding aside, you, you, really not kidding because you do need a sense of humor when you're cooking on a boat. But I'm going to go through some of the things that I have whittled down to. When I first moved on to a boat, I wanted everything that was in my regular kitchen, my kitchen at home. That's not going to work. First of all, electricity is a problem, so you can't have all your electri electrical devices. Storage is a problem, so you can't fit all those things you have in your regular kitchen. So you need to have the things that are space saving and work the best in this environment. And I think I'm going to start with this essential item and it is desiccants. Um, the first thing that will go on your boat is your can opener and you're probably unless you live on a mega yacht or a really big catamaran not going to have an electrical can opener and cans are very very important on a boat. You're gonna have lots of canned foods whether you like it or not sometimes you need them because you can't always get to a grocery store. The problem with can openers is they rust and I probably went through two or three of them before I realized that you need to store them in an airtight bag with some desiccant and that will eliminate your problem of having to buy multiple can openers over the course of your sailing adventures. So, and also um, desiccants work well if you have anything powdered that you want to stay powdered. My husband loves to have the occasional iced tea to sip in the warm tropical areas when he's you know out there for hours up at the up at the helm and having some nice iced tea mix you know is a great way to just make some instant iced tea unfortunately it turns into this big congealed glob really really quickly so if you can drop a couple of desiccants into a jar with a nice tight lid or into the can that you have that will save your iced tea from becoming a brick and you need the ice pick to chisel it out. So anyway, anything that you want to keep dry and not corrode, uh, we put these into our baggies of uh, AA, AAA batteries and things like that. Uh, you will definitely want to purchase a few bags of desiccants. I have here nesting kitchen utensils. And if you can find anything that nests like those spoons or collapses, it is huge because it saves space and uh, it's just much, much more convenient. So these are just measuring cups that pop out and pop back and they don't take much cabinet space. Um, if you decide, I mean, I have the straining lids for my pots, but if I do need a strainer, I have two different sizes of these strainers that pop out and pop back in. You can find these at most kitchen places uh, around the world. They have them now and also bowls bowls that pop in and out with lids and you put them on and I love these because um, you can actually like reduce the size as you start to use something and you don't have to take everything out and clean it and wash it you can kind of alter it as you're using whatever's in your bowl I've used these in the freezer if you put them in the refrigerator so I just absolutely love my nesting collapsible bowls okay next on the list is another practical galley item and that's the kind of cleanser that you use you can find a lot of uh, eco friendly things um, to use but whatever you use try to find something that you can keep your original container and just get refills for uh, I found this in um, in the EU I think it was in Ireland that I first found it and they have a bio-friendly, environmentally friendly refill for this. And it comes in these little tiny containers, which are easy to store, don't take much space. You add water to it, refill, use the same container. And you're saving 
plastic from getting dumped into the ocean. Now, one um, item that is not necessarily environmentally friendly, but it's going to save you a lot of work is Barkeeper's Friend. And I use this at home and there's a lot of aluminum, chrome, things that are very, very hard to clean on a boat. And this has by far worked the best for everything from cleaning my oven doors to pots and pans to all of the chrome and uh, things that you have on the boat that you need to want to keep shiny. So I highly recommend it. Okay, moving on to other practical items. Um, I'm going to share with you one of my greatest discoveries. Actually, I have to attribute my daughter-in-law Shelby to this. Uh, she got these for me and I'm going, oh, okay, these are kind of cool, but they've actually turned out to be one of my favorite galley items ever. And that is my nesting set of utensils. Now I have them here where I can reach them. I use them every single day and every recipe that I make. And they're really cool because they have the spatula, the pasta strainer, ladle, slotted spoon, big spoon, and they nest together. And I have one of those really sticky little pads that go underneath the holder and I clip it with a hair tie and I can access them immediately and put them back and I don't have to open any drawers, any cabinets. And the best part is with this little sticky pad underneath, um, we have been in 20 foot seas and it has not left the countertop. So it doesn't go anywhere. If you find a good way to secure it from the bottom, like I said, I just found one of those really sticky little pads that you put on the bottom. I guess they're for securing you know, things to the dashboard of your car or whatever, or your countertops, but it has worked really, really well, knock on wood. And uh, it hasn't moved even in the roughest of conditions. And I love the quick and easy access. I rinse them, wash them off, dry them, stick them right back up there and they're all in one spot, easy to get to, and it saves space in my limited drawers. Speaking of space, another huge, amazing invention that they, I'm sure they made for boat people are the nesting pots and pans. So these pans, move my bartender's friend, get to this next, um, are another incredible invention. And as you can see, I have all these pots of different sizes. There's the big one, one, two, three, four of them. And they nest inside each other and they come with these removable handles. So when you go to stack them in your cabinet, you can pick up the entire thing, put it in your cabinet, and it doesn't take up much space at all. And the really cool part is they come with these lids with strainers on them. So when you're cooking, and you want to drain the water out of your pasta or your vegetables or whatever you've cooked, you just put the lid on it, dump it into your sink, and you're good to go. Um, so they all have these lids. Uh, whatever set that you happen to purchase will probably come with a couple handles, and you can just pick up your entire set, put it in a space. It's easy to access, and that will... It's just very practical. I love them. absolutely love them. Okay, and then this is something that I recently found. Like I said, this is an evolving process. And as we spend more time on the boat, um, I've been able to kind of refine what works really, really, really well. And this I actually got for an anniversary present this year. And ever since I've had them, I'm just, I can't believe I ever lived without them. And that is these copper pans. I got a whole set of them. I got three sizes, the skillets, the, the large, medium, and small, and this big flat pan and I can do all of my cooking in these and the thing that I like best about them is that um, I used to use a lot of butter oil things to cook probably more than I should have for with my old pans these I don't even need it I mean they are so amazing that you can put the tiniest amount of oil or butter or whatever you're using and after that after I put that small amount in I can crisp things up brown them fry them do whatever and if I just add a tiny, tiny bit of water, it re-lubricates everything. And I don't, don't need to add any more butter or oil to the recipe. And um, I am just absolutely thrilled with them. And then the best part is how easily they wipe clean. And we all know that water conservation on a boat is a huge issue. And I don't use any, any uh, detergent on them or anything. I just take my little scrubby thing, 
and I wipe them out, I rinse it, and it's done. And I've never cooked anything, even when I've overcooked it or overbrowned it, that's been sticking to the bottom, that with just a little bit of warm water, leave it on the stove, it does not wipe totally clean in seconds. So the cooking is better, the cleaning is better, water saving, everything. I just absolutely love these. Okay, speaking of cooking, things in containers. This is another huge life-saving, galley-saving container. It is cast iron, and I know it's heavy, and you try to avoid bringing heavy things, but this is well worth it. And I actually got this from Pampered Chef, and my cousin, Kimmy, who uh, was throwing this Pampered Chef party, said, if you get this one pie, you'll never need another pot again. Well, I think that I probably have cooked the majority of my meals in this cast iron pot because it's just, uh, it, it heats up quickly, it heats thoroughly, and this is the second part of using this pot, is this wonderful invention, which was actually originated in Africa for uh, people that don't have a lot of electricity and have to cook with limited fuel. It's called a Wonder Bag. And there's actually iterations of this that are um, more up to date. It's called, I'll have to get back to you on what that's called, Mr. Yeah. But anyway, um, what is it? Mr. D. Oh, Mr. D. The, uh, the modern adaptation of the Wonder Bag is called Mr. D, and you can purchase it. And it comes in a couple different sizes, and it's a thermal cooker. Um, so that may be something that you, that maybe someday I'll upgrade to, but my sister gave me this wonder bag. She brought it back from Africa. And what you do is you heat up your dinner in this cast iron pot. So for instance, I'll take some Cornish game hens and put them in here with some onions and peppers and carrots and celery or chili or a uh, roast or whatever it is of sometimes a whole chicken and you bring it up to temperature, you plop it into the wonder bag. You tie up the Wonder Bag and you put it away. You, so you cook it in the, you cook whatever you're going to cook in the morning. You put it in your Wonder Bag. You set it off somewhere safe. And five, six, seven, eight hours later, when you open it up, everything is cooked and ready to go. Um, so sometimes I'll use this um, when I know that I'm getting up in the morning and we're going to have a long passage all day. And I'm not going to feel like cooking when we arrive wherever we are because it's kind of a, a draining day. And it's so nice because I make my meal i put it in here whenever we arrive i pull it out i haven't had to turn on any gas i haven't used any electricity any propane whatever and my dinner is all ready so i absolutely highly recommend either the wonder bag or mr d and uh, a nice strong cast iron pot that you can prepare the meal in set it in here and i'll have your meal ready by dinner time okay now we have a few other convenient items that uh, I absolutely love. And one of them is this little ceramic dish. Again, it's a, I have this amazing daughter-in-law and she finds the coolest things for me. And um, usually whatever she shares has been really helpful on my boat. So it's really nice to have somebody in your life that um, is looking out for you and gets you these little gadgets that you turn out, you know, like, how did I live without this? But this um, little item, it's got a, uh, raised little bumps on the bottom and what this does is when you are using ginger or garlic and you need to use it for recipe and i use ginger and garlic a lot instead of having to get a knife out and especially if you know your boat is moving and stuff if you cannot use a knife to chop tiny things especially me because i'm a bit challenged when it comes to using sharp cutlery most of the time my husband keeps them away from me and gives me serrated things because yeah i've had a few accidents and anyway, you can take your garlic clove or your ginger and you just rub it on here and it pulverizes it and you don't have to chop it. And then you just wipe it into your recipe, rinse it, and you're good to go. So I love this for mincing garlic and ginger. Life on a boat is all about not only being practical in your cooking, but also being environmentally conscious because... The ocean is our backyard, is our home. We want to take care of it. So anytime we can reduce plastic use, that's great. So I try never to use saran wrap. I have it for emergencies, but what I did just discover are these lids that fit on both square or rectangular and 
round bowls or containers. And these lids are great because unlike saran wrap, when you're in a moving environment, saran wrap comes dislodged, then whatever's in your bowl sloshes over, gets all over your countertops or you've worst at your refrigerator. These, you put them on, they stay on. You can even turn it upside down and shake it. The liquid or whatever will stay in. And they're washable and reusable. So you can, I got a whole bag of them for like $7, I think, with probably 10 different sizes of lids. So they fit anything that I have in my kitchen. So we've got square ones. And the other neat thing about it is you've got these Tupperware containers, which are great for stacking, but the lids, the lids get lost. You can never find the lid when you need it. It's just always a hassle. With these, you pop one on, you don't have to worry about it or it saves space. All my lids fit right here and they're not picking up valuable cabinet space. So I'm a huge fan of these reusable lids. Another reusable item that you don't have to use plastic bags over and over again. And you know, I do have some like large gallon size Ziploc bags that I used them for three, four years now. I take really good care of them and I rinse them out, turn them inside out, dry them, and then stick them back in my cabinet and reuse them because sometimes you just need a large Ziploc bag. Um, but they make a lot of these silicone baggies now. Some of them are pretty simple. They just have your silicone and they just have, you know, seals that close and they're easy to wash and reuse again. This one is called... Ovecat, O-V-E-C-A-T, and I really like this. Um, I've even put uh, leftovers in it and put it in the freezer and pulled them out and reheat it and it's great. And then you have some larger, more substantial ones. This is called Cooksters with a Z, and it has a very substantial seal to the top that you slide this bar over. And uh, you can actually freeze things in this and bring them out and put this right into boiling water and thaw it out. So these are, uh, this you couldn't do that with. You'd have to take it out and then reheat it in a pot. But these you can actually cook right in the baggie. So again, these are two um, options for not having to use uh, plastic baggies. My all-time favorite oven cooking item is my Silpat. And I'm sure there's a lot of varieties uh, of this type of product out there now. This one is from France. Uh, not very expensive. Um, I think maybe 15 or 16 dollars when I bought it I don't remember uh, my nephew Ryan introduced me to this he's a sourdough phenomenon and a wonderful baker and the Silpat you place it on top of your cookie sheet and whatever you're baking your cookies your biscuits or whatever they brown up and they crisp up so nicely you could even take cheese and put just cheese on here and toast it in the oven and it just peels right off doesn't make any mess whatsoever this is so easy to clean you just get a rag you wipe it down Again, water saving, you don't mess up your cookie sheets, and everything comes out delicious. Um, and speaking of delicious cooking in the oven, this was actually on my boat when we bought it. And uh, I use it all the time. Uh, I love having pizza. I either make it myself with my sourdough starter with the pizza crust. I fill it the, the cheese with crust, put all these toppings on it. And um, this works really well with the gas oven. The bottom is nice and crispy all the time and it's um, coated so nothing sticks to it. But I also bake biscuits on this or anything that I want the bottoms to brown, you know, really well. So this little pizza sheet, whatever it's called, I'm not sure, um, has been really valuable and I've used it a lot. So I enjoy that also. So I think that's my top list. Um, I will go ahead and put each of these items on a list at the end of the video that you can pause and look through them to uh, decide if it's something that will work for you on your boat. But um, I'm really happy with my galley at the moment. I've got a great system. I love everything that's in my cabinets. I don't have anything extra that I don't use. Um, actually, there is one other thing that I want to mention that I do use a lot. I make a lot of soups because soup is something that you can uh, take anything that's left over in your refrigerator and make it into something delicious, meats, vegetables, whatever. And I love to saute my onions and garlic and celery and different things and uh, carrots and then use my hand blender and make it into a nice thick soup and then add my meat and whatever, you know, vegetables, rice, uh, pasta, lentils. Um, so I do use this hand blender quite a bit for making so hand blender is a good thing because it doesn't take up much space 
and it's so much easier to use than you know a big bulky blender or a food processor so yes i do like my hand blender so anyway i hope that you enjoyed this and i hope that some of it will be helpful for you if you like what you saw give me a thumbs up and subscribe so you don't miss anything that's upcoming 